Welcome to Working Brothers. My name is Brandon. This is my 2003 Toyota Corolla. She's not very pretty on the outside, but she runs really good. And she has a couple little problems. One of them is the seat belt buckles will not buckle. So I'm going to be fixing that today. But first, I want to talk about the website I got the buckles from. It is OEM Part Source. The link will be in the description below. They have amazing customer service. I went on their site, found it on Google. I found two buckles that I thought were for my car and I ordered them. A customer service representative emailed me and they told me that I had two buckles that were for different cars. So I gave them my VIN and they ended up finding these two buckles for me. Another thing I want to point out is their prices were super good. Uh, with shipping and everything, it cost about $75 to get these here. I went to Toyota to see how much the OEM parts directly from Toyota would cost. It was about $250 for both buckles and I was not ready to pay that. So let's go install them. Something I want to point out right here is the driver's side has the bigger wiring harness, the thicker wires and the bigger uh, harness into the seat belt and the passenger side has less wires, it's smaller and it hides up in there a little more. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta unbolt the front seat. Thank you for watching Working Brothers. Again, go check out OEM Part Source. They're an amazing source for auto parts. And we didn't get to the passenger side because as you can tell, it's getting darker and our video quality is starting to go down. I'll just kind of explain the passenger side. It's pretty much the same thing. There's the four bolts to remove the seats, the bolt to, or the nut to remove the buckle and then the wiring harness if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments go ahead and give us a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below for more working brothers content thank you <laughs>